so look you know that motion about reaching here right so Raphael when you get excited yeah you start swinging you just you're starting doing this again right and you don't want to you, know, you want to be doing this it doesn't change look you just sit up it's really relaxed so Dominic does the same thing when she gets excited she she gets chest what I call tits to gunnel <laughs> It's armpit the gunnel, right? It's really like that. So the stroke is very simple. I know, I mean, I know a lot of technique stuff is all this complicated. Look, it's really that simple. Look, I'm this big triangle, turn it sideways, right? And it's true with everybody. Look, uh, this thing better be vertical, drive it deep, then sit up. Look, I don't have to break my arm. There's no need for this shit, right? So if your body is square, then you have to do this part to get it up. Am I right? So learn to, it's like a, it's like a kung fu dance. Like learn to move your body rather than your arms. Look, it's basically this. Anything else is too complicated and makes no sense. I, you know, I, I prefer the work on a layman's way of paddling. Look, this is just this. I'm moving my body. So in a V1, V6, OC6, your hips can move. Look, when I reach like that, this problem is you guys are probably sitting on your ass too far back on the seat sit on the tip of the bench the butt here look because i can look look how i my goal is always to reach because the other person is on front on the other side my goal is to always reach that seat look that's where the seat is right reach that seat drive it down and sit up this is a long ass stroke look now you wouldn't get this swirl if the boat was moving right look it's just this look look at my release there's none of this shit, right? Now, Rafael, you tend to enter the place so high. So by the time you hit, you were, you, <laughs> you get off time like that. When you release, right? Have a what I call low return. This is a good drill to do, look. You have to feather the blade in the water, it's good. Right? And when you get better, you can choke it up a bit because you have the discipline to bury it deeper, right? See, the reason why I put it down is because of the tactile feel of you getting the hand wet. As you get better with your triangle, then you can choke it up. Because I know then I already buried my whole arm. Look, this is your stroke. Eyes up. I want to be able, because when I'm telling, I want to be able to see your back. Look, but now you're using the back to do one arm. There's something in the gym we call the cable roll. It's a one arm cable roll. You just sit up and that's it. There's no mystery now. There's too much myth making in paddle technique and whatever they use to this. The top New Zealand guys do this. They use the whole body. The leg is engaged, right? All the power your back generates, Dominic, is transferred to the legs. But the minute you do this and just do this stuff, yeah, look this. A lot, not you. 90% of people that do this. You see this elbow? Do you discourage the top arm drive? No, you do want to do the top arm drive, but you don't want to do it so that your elbow is moving before. You see, that just means you haven't got the power yet. Look, you slow it down and get, you haven't locked, because it's not just locking your elbow, it's locking your lats, yeah? That means when you, then when this happens, it's because you're not using your lat to paddle, right? It's, you know, in the gym, you do CrossFit, you know what a muscle lock is, where people can just, do the pull up like that. Well, shit, paddling is a muscle up, a one arm muscle up. If you can't do a muscle, you drop your elbow, you can't even do a chin up because you're trying to use your arms to paddle. This wobble happens because you're trying to arm it. Arm the top arm. Then the bottom arm, you're trying to arm it by doing this. So, this is why I call the push pull thing. You can, but this push pull thing is a bicep tricep thing, right? So, yes, you have great biceps and great triceps. Right? What I want to see is that feedback of yours develop over time. That's how you get a bit. But swimmers and paddles all built the same way. So this makes your back look. A lot of people think I go to the gym. No. I paddle. You paddle correctly. This is, this is basically weight training in water, especially six man. Right? It's all whole. It's, a, it's actually a full body workout. My, all my pressure is on my heel. 
right? So it's not an upper body pattern, it's bullshit. It's the whole body thing. So once you guys understand this philosophy, you can train yourself. You don't need the coach to scream at you, right? You can do that on your one man, your V1, your OC2, agree, right? So you can never have a coach nag you enough. That's why you need a blade that will not allow you to cheat. You guys can try it, you'll see what I mean by this thing, a minute you do this, this chicken, chicken wobble, it slips out of your hand. So that's why, because I won't be here every day. Right? So I hope this was helpful, all right? Yeah. So good. when you hold the top, it should be ah. straight instead of the... Okay. Good question. There is, I know like you see the Tajian style where they drop their yeah. wrist. There's nothing wrong with that. It's because they don't, the reason why they do this is because they, they, they have such good place, they have such good water fuel to catch the water quietly, they don't need to use this wrist. But I will tell you, for women, right, and for guys too, you know, I have very small wrists, right? I have like a women's wrist, a very small wrist. <laughs> so if you drop your wrist, you're in a weak position. If you're in a fight, if somebody benches it, you, you're screwed. So I tend to try to keep my wrist flat with my hand because now I can extend the power from my lap into the water. Once I drop it, I've lost some of that power. Agree? This is, there's no right way. It just depends how strong you are in terms of your wrists and whether your forearms can hold the pressure of your lap, right? Look, this, this wrist has to take all the power coming from your lap, your intercostals, your abdominals, your hip flexors go. I mean, right? So if you think you can hold it, then if you can drop it, drop it. If you cannot, but the problem is also when you drop your wrist, you tend to have the chicken wobble. Yeah. That's one of the main issues, right? So if you are strong enough that you can have a drop wrist, but you can lock the elbow, great. But most people cannot. It's a lot easier to lock the elbow if you lock the wrist. Agree? Try that first and see how you do. Okay? All right. Be good. I hope that could help you guys.